Uh, let me turn to an area that has been, uh, I know, of, of caused a lot of pain uh, to Ohio citizens, uh, and that is when you have someone uh, in a nursing home or an assisted living, um, one of the first orders that was issued in Ohio and across the, the country and other states uh, was to stop visitation in these facilities. Uh, we now have gone on uh, several months, uh, and we know that it's becoming more and more difficult for people. Uh, they've been away from their relatives. Uh, we know this has caused a great deal of heartache uh, inside these facilities um, with the, the individuals who are the patients, who are the residents. Uh, but we also know it causes, causes a lot of heartache for individuals who want to come in and, and visit them. Uh, this has been a very, uh, uh, this is a very difficult issue uh, because we know the problems connected uh, with COVID getting into nursing homes. And we're trying to do absolutely everything we can to keep COVID out of the nursing homes. But we also know that people are suffering by not having these visits. So we're going to try to do this in stages. Uh, we're going to see how it works. We're going to continue to look at our, our numbers uh, and to see how the spread is, is occurring. So at the time that we are now starting uh, to become much more aggressive because we have the testing, uh, National Guard will start on Monday. Uh, work has already been done this week, but they will actually start going into nursing homes on Monday morning um, and start doing that, that work uh, as far as the testing. Uh, so uh, I, I want to talk about the change in the visitation and again it's going to be we hope to start it and then continue to expand it uh, we've got to see frankly how how well it works um, so beginning uh, June 8th intermediate care facilities for individuals beginning June 8th intermediate care facilities for individuals with developmental disabilities um, and assisted living facilities that are properly prepared in both cases can begin to allow outdoor visitation. So we're, we're going to start with that. Uh, I, I know in our intermediate care facilities for individuals with developmental disabilities, uh, there's been, uh, again, a, a real concern about people being able to connect with their family members the same way in assisted living facilities. Uh, so we're going to start with those two. Uh, we are not to nursing homes yet. Um, and I know that causes anguish for a lot of people who are watching this. But we're trying to do this so that we don't increase the COVID inside the nursing homes or the assisted living or, or the intermediate care facilities. So we're going to start with a couple of them, the intermediate care facilities, uh, with people with developmental disabilities and the assisted living facilities. We're going to start on June 8th, and we're going to start doing this uh, uh, under protocol that we are health department is putting out and this will be for outside visitation recognizing the, the fundamental difference between something that occurs outside uh, and something that occurs inside as far as the possibility of, of spread um, our decision to move forward with outdoor visitation is really the culmination of many things including the impact on the quality of life uh, and what a prolonged loss of connection can have on that individual. Uh, obviously, we receive requests from families and residents. And, and let me just say, we have many families, uh, we're hearing from both sides on this issue. Uh, people who want visitation, people say no, do not. Uh, three, consultation with advocates and providers in the aging and developmental disabilities communities. And four, guidelines for visitation jointly developed by the Academy for Senior Health Sciences, Leading Age Ohio, the Ohio Assisted Living Association, the Ohio Healthcare Association, and the Ohio Medical Directors Association. We know that each facility is different, so we have allowed flexibility with the reopening guidelines. However, there's a minimum that all facilities must do. We're asking facilities to develop a policy that includes screening for temperatures and symptoms reporting for visitors. We're asking them to schedule set hours and the length of time for visits, uh, proper social distancing measures, mask, and residents, family, and friends education about the risk of the spread of COVID-19. Uh, each facility can determine how to best implement outdoor visitation for their residents in a way that works best for all of them. Um, let me just conclude. Um, 
but we will continue to examine, monitor, and adjust as carefully and thoughtfully as we can as we move forward in the future.